Okay, guys, it's been a while since I gave you a fish room update, but today we're going to get a fish room update. So these fish are now in the 180. If you guys noticed that I got some new stingrays, I got Sace up there, Black Diamond Hybrid, I got Athena there, and Albino Stingray, Ray there, the Montero Stingray, and of course, Diamond, the Black Diamond Stingrays there. So they're in the 180 growing out. I'm hopefully you get these two, which are females, to breed with him, and I get babies. So we'll go from there. Moving over to this tank. So it looks really opaque. You can't really find nothing in there, but there he is right there. Volt, the electric eel, is back in the fish room. Not back, but in the fish room. So that's my monster fish there. He's definitely going to get a bigger tank pretty soon. Swing over here. There's somebody, which was my favorite fish. Okay, you can recognize him. The true Pariba. I call him Rocky alone. So he's in a tank. He's been growing out nicely. Let's go down to the bottom. And you got Catboy the Longfish. And of course, he's time he's getting big. He's ready to eat, but he's getting some new tank, new size coming. Move over here. Nothing special in that. Just quarantine tank for a black, no, sorry, a nugget. Collectively, I don't think you guys can see it right there. Over here, you got Apollo. Now, if you look at this guy, he's a small version of Rocky. And you got Ozog the Defiler. So obviously they're moving some people around pretty soon, but that is a true platinum red tail. Down below, you got the alligator guard. He's ready to eat. You can see that. So he's getting nice and big, nice and thick. If I swing over here, you got Wigglies, my rescue from the um, Petco, um, the Four Monster, Kissy Fish for sure. And you got him right there. I love him. He's growing out pretty nice. The shovel nose. Over here, you got another quarantine tank. But if I kind of zoom out a little bit, I got 125 gallon. No fish in there yet, but coming soon. Let's go to the top tank. Got what you guys know is that's a red tail giant Rami, a vinyl pleco, black tip shark. Got a bass there. And. Inside there, probably hard to see. You got a, a wall of those. I got some really cool fish. What's good about now? The 300 is up. So well, let's, let's see what we got in 300. Of course, my favorite, Goliath, the Arapaima. You got Jumpies, Albino, um, Arowana, and got another bass. You caught bass right there. So 300 is up and running. Over here, of course, you go down and see them. It's pretty cool looking at this window. You got Bully, Red Tail Catfish, and Big Dan, my fish rescue from about a year ago. He has grown out nicely in his tank. So got a, new, a lot of new updates, some new fish in the fish room, and let's take a look at another fish room. Okay, I have to come up top. So my guy right there weighs the five row turtle. He is in that tank itself. Definitely is bigger tank than it was before he's gotten. He was about this size when I got him. Now he's about that size now. I got a little planted tank here, so that's a little update in the fish room. Um, got a feather fin there, you probably see it. Let me, probably a little too bright, but let me step back so it all corrects itself. But some cool fish in there, but hard to see, hard to tell. It's probably, let me see it right there. You can zoom in, there it is. Yeah, peacock, not peacock, sorry, pea puffers. That's in the pink there. So that is the fish room update. You got some cool fish. You gotta swing around here and see him. My favorite right there. Let me zoom in. I love that fish. All right, guys. So that is the fish room tour updates. A lot of things always happen in fish room when I have time to work on that because hobbies are so important. Let me tell you why I'm in fish keeping hobby. Not only do I love fish, but hobbies are a good way to relieve depression. They're a good way to give you physical health. So if you like to work out, play sports, great way that way but it definitely adds to your well-being overall. So that's why I'm in a fish keeping because it's adding to my well-being, even though taking care of a lot of fish is a pain, you know what, it still contributes to my well-being and my health, and that's critical for you sustaining your life. So fish room tour, more fish are happening, and stay tuned for another update.